We're going to describe and, and demonstrate the use of a low pressure infusion system for uh, avocado trees. And uh, the first thing that you want to do is walk through the planting that you're going to infuse and take the diameters of at least uh, eight to 10 trees. And in this case, we would take the diameters at the base of the tree and uh, you would record probably the circumference first and then go back and calculate what those diameters are. And the reason you want that information is that that's going to be used in calculating how much of the, the uh, control substance you want to place inside the tree. The first step in using the low pressure infusion system is to clean the debris out from the base of the tree to expose the flare roots. Okay, so now we've exposed the major flare roots and we're cleaning them off. And we need to have them cleaned off, number one, because they're much easier to see, but also we're gonna be placing infusion ports into these flare roots and we don't want to uh, contaminate them or have the uh, holes full of dirt. So we're gonna try to brush away as much of the uh, loose sand and dirt particles uh, and it also, like I said, exposes and cleans that area for the infusion ports. We're going to put the tubing around the tree, the infusion tubing, and uh, disconnect it first, put it around the tree, and we want to make sure that uh, the major flare roots, that there's an infusion peg for each uh, flare root we want to infuse into. So reattach this. In this case, uh, there's about six sites where we can uh, place the, the substance and uh, infuse, and so distribute those around the tree. So in some cases, uh, in this case, we have six uh, infusion ports, and that's all we need on this tree, but sometimes you may have trees that are much larger and you may need to uh, take part of the assembly uh, apart and add more infusion ports. It's very easy to do. And you may use eight or 12. In this case, uh, we only need six. We're gonna drill into these flare roots. And it's real important when you drill that you have a smooth action and you just go in and directly out in one stroke. This way you're not making the hole too big because you want these infusion pegs to fit snugly. So Armando is tapping these infusion ports into the tree flare roots and he's using a rubber mallet because he doesn't want to damage these plastic infusion ports. If he uses metal or something like that, he might end up damaging them. And he wants them to be snug but not over tight and of course not loose, just enough to uh, hold in place. This is the low pressure infusion equipment. Consists of a, a tank to hold the solution. We have a pressure gauge and uh, we only use between 15 and 20 pounds of pressure uh, in this system. We have a valve that we can turn the system on and off with. And so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and load this system with the material we want to infuse. Again, we're gonna add water along with it because infusion includes both a di is a dilute mixture of the substance you want to get into the tree and uh, water. So we're going to be loading the uh, low pressure system. First, we're going to put in uh, the water, and we have dyed this water to make it uh, more easily seen as it goes through the tubing. And uh, in this case, 
you're going to use somewhere uh, a total total solution of somewhere around three quarters to a gallon of of uh, solution. Next, we're going to put in the uh, substance we want, and, and it's very important um, whether you're using uh, a nutritional or a fungicide or an insecticide that you read the label very, very carefully. If it is a uh, pesticide of some type, number one, it has to be registered for the crop that you're going to use uh, the product on, and it also has to have the type of use. So in other words, it would have to have on the label that you can use this material and apply it as an infusion into the plants. And so we have calculated uh, how much material we need. We're going to mix it with the uh, solution uh, in preparation for the infusion. We're then going to go ahead and uh, pressurize the system. And we only need, as I mentioned previously, you only need about 10 to 20 pounds per square inch. Let me just mix this a little bit, make sure it's well mixed. And you don't want to use too high a pressure because you may, at high pressure, force the uh, infusion ports out of the tree. So here we have about 15 pounds pressure. I'm going to open this valve here, re uh, releasing the substance. My assistant is going to open the stopcock at the back of the system, and the air will move out of the system. He'll capture that uh, solution. We'll then turn the system off, put the solution that he captures back in, repressurize, and then we'll have a system that just has solution in it and, and uh, very few, if any, air bubbles. So we're going to start right now, Armando. Open yours. Okay. I'm going to turn mine off. I'm going to take the pressure off. I'm going to open again. I'm going to go ahead and repressurize the system. And then once again, I'm going to go ahead and release the pressure and we'll have a system with very few, if any, air bubbles in it. We will then have to periodically come back as this pressure decreases, as the substance is taken up, we'll come back and repressurize this to around 15 pounds. The low pressure infusion system um, is a good system. It costs uh, a little bit more to make uh, than the passive system. But uh, you do have a little bit of pressure. Sometimes uh, that helps the infusion to go a little bit faster than if you don't have uh, the pressure behind it. Um, you do need to build, you can buy these systems. They're very expensive. Um, we have plans online um, that show you um, how to build one of these systems and where to get the parts, um, and also how to actually, the mechanism of, of doing the infusion itself.